Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a real quick look at a brand new 163 RDSK travel trailer. We're going to start here on the door side and kind of work our way in. So first things up, they have a gas griddle here across the front storage area. This one was ordered with the Platinum package, so you have the fiberglass side and rear walls with this smooth rolled aluminum front. Power awning, LED light strip built in, manual override in the front arm head in case of an electronic failure, adjustable arms on the awning as well, deep tent, safety glass windows, you have electric outlet here, outside hot and cold utility shower, gravity fill fresh water tank fill up just above the tire there. This is a single axle lightweight small unit here. And just above that larger window is the stove exhaust vent. Traditional RV entry door with screen door. It does have a window in it that is Lippert thin shade ready. Has a large folding entry handle there to help you get in and out. Double entrance step, traditional hover style step. Now stepping up into the RV here, as you've seen on the floor plan of it, you have one slide out. Let's step on in here so we can kind of start in the rear, kind of spin our way around. So across the back of the RV, you have the refrigerator, which is a 10.7 cubic foot, 12 volt fridge, microwave, some cabinets, desk area, little computer chair, furnace, couple drawers, all down there. You have the sofa over here, which will flip down into a small bed. And then it also has little kick out foot rests on it. Over here, you have your solar charge controller, slide out and awning in and out buttons, some light switches, water heater on gas button, water pump switch, your monitor panel for your holding tanks. You have a few drawers down below, some storage below the sink also. The window does open there behind the stove. Two burner gas stove top, hood range light and fan, undermount stainless sink, high rise faucet, area up here for TV. Just kind of looking down the roof line here, you can see your AC system. Currently using a Coleman AC. It's an all vinyl floor in the RV here. On the side over here, we do have a step in shower. So you have kind of a walk through bathroom, but on the left side, you have your step in shower, ABS tub surround, pull across door there, skylight above, and then a little vent fan in the bathroom also. Then over on the other side here, you have your foot flush toilet, little sink area, some storage, a little bit of counter space, another window there that does open, and your traditional wood medicine cabinet. There's an AC duct in here as well. Then you step up into your bedroom area where you have hanging closet on each side some overhead cabinet space as well. And just to kind of give you an idea here, what this looks like. Electric outlet and USB charger port on each side. And your overhead cabinet here. So you got a decent amount of room to hang a few clothes, throw them up in the cabinet. And then you also have the bed here will actually raise up and there's some little area down here. So you got a little shoe nook to kind of kick your shoes underneath there. Some more little cubbies here to stash some goodies. And then it'll actually go into the outside storage compartment as well. The window on each side of the bed and both windows do open. The one over there is also an emergency exit window. 
and an AC duct in the bedroom as well. But overall, pretty cool little new floor plan here. Now let's go back on out to the outside here real quick. Just want to show you the outside, finish it up real quick for you. So on the back side, you have a traditional four inch squared tube bumper, spare tire mount here as well, gas uh, water heater, propane furnace exhaust out right here. Up top, you are pre-prepped for a Furion rear observation camera. Nice feature to add. Talk with your salesperson about that. And then in the top left corner right there, you are pre-prepped for the Lippert Stow and Go ladder. That'll come down, telescope down, touch the ground. Rated for about 350 pounds. Help you get up onto your roof to do inspections and check things out. Um, nice thing to add aftermarket if that interests you. It also has a solar panel. You can kind of see the edge of the solar panel up there on the roof, uh, but a solar panel as well. Here you have your black tank flush, city water inlet, detachable 30 amp electric cord hookup, and your cable inlet as well. You are prepped on the uh, slide room here for Soul Air slide topper. That is a nice feature to consider adding as well. Just helps repel a lot of leaves, twigs, debris, rainwater, things like that. Uh, shade the top of the room. Down here you have low point water drain, also have the gray and black water dumps right here. Then you have a pretty good size pass, uh, pass through storage area here. Um, nice little setup, you can get to it again from inside. The baggage doors are held up by the magnetic holders. And here we have some real important informational stickers we're gonna pop up here for you real quick. The first one popping up is your main production data sticker. Basically telling you production date, VIN number, axle size, but most importantly here, gross vehicle weight. That's the most you can load the RV up to. Axle weight, hitch weight, everything combined. Don't exceed that number. Next sticker popping up is your unloaded vehicle weight sticker. Basically telling you what the RV weighed when it rolled off the factory assembly line and it also has the length on it as well. Next is your cargo carrying capacity sticker. Basically just telling you what the uh, amount of weight is that you can put into the RV before you exceed the gross weight on the first sticker. And last but not least, you have the tire sticker here, telling you tire size, but most importantly here, cold tire pressure. Make sure you maintain your tire pressure, very, very important. And then you can see here on the front, you have manual tongue jack standard, two and five sixteenths hitch ball, safety chains, seven way Bargman wiring plug, single 20 pound propane tank standard. There's also a battery disconnect back in there and then battery box as well. Lower diamond plate metal and then smooth rolled aluminum front. And again, when you do that platinum package, you get the fiberglass side and rear as well. Now let's step inside here just real quick. I want to show you what it looks like closed. All right, once you get the computer chair out of the way, you are basically coming right back in here to your little control panel and you gotta hit your slide button in. So you have one way will take you out and one way will bring you in. This is a 12 volt powered slide motor system. So you just push the button, bring it in. As long as you got a good charged up battery, you should be able to run this thing in and out fairly easy. All right, so we are all the way in here. Let's step back a little bit. So you can kind of see here, with it closed up, I can still come up in here. I got full access to my refrigerator. I could squeeze by the little computer chair here, come on into here. 
squeeze by into my bathroom and bedroom area. Really, if you brought the computer chair, maybe in, threw it into the bedroom out of the way, it'd give you a little more room, unless you needed to actually come in here and sleep or something, but you still have the ability to basically walk through the whole camper. And then when you're ready to go back out, just hit the button to take it right on back out. So pretty quick and easy. Thanks again, folks, for taking the time to do a real quick walkthrough on the new model here. Be sure to check out the folks at Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Thanks again.